So good morning, afternoon, evening to everyone who's joining us right now. Thanks for being here. We have some housekeeping things and some thanks to give to a couple groups of people. So I'm gonna let Matthew, I guess, take it away. Oh my goodness. Uh, wait, I don't have the page up of who I'm supposed to thank. Uh, I, I, I dropped the link we, in our in our chat. All right. We uh, like this, this chat. Year, folks. What we, we did plan ahead. Hold on while I bring up the link. Um, I. I, am I Damn. thanking our sponsors? Damn. Damn. We've got lots of sponsors. Yeah, uh, yeah definitely. Um, that's part of yeah. <laughs> what's okay, for Okay, cool. Sure. <laughs> so uh, Platinum sponsors this time are proud. Uh, Red Hat, always our generous uh, primary sponsor, but also Amazon Web Services, uh, uh, a Platinum sponsor this year. Thank you very much. And thank you to Amazon for the compute resources they give us as well. And uh, shout out to David Duncan in specific for getting the Fedora Cloud images on Amazon Marketplace, which has been kind of a white whale for like the last decade. And now we finally caught it. Um, so that's awesome. Um, thank you to Lenovo um, and, you know, awesome computers that I'm running right now. And to Alma Linux, we're hoping for some awesome collaboration with this new downstream project, OpenSUSE, another uh, fine RPM-based distro we talked with quite a lot. Datto, um, Neil Gampa, our uh, tireless uh, everywhere in Fedora person works there and they've sponsored us and shells.com which is working on having a fedora like on the web kind of thing um it's kind of the remote desktop in the cloud is a trend and um fedora is going to be there through this service so that's cool uh gitlab and uh is our another sponsor and then um it's foss and destination linux network are our media sponsors I think I got that, right? Yep. There's a couple more things on your list, though. Just go keep going on ahead. Just keep, keep <laughs> going on my list. Uh, all right. OK, um, we've got all, all these people. We'll have an expo area um, that's going to be in a work adventure map, which is a really cool like what are there's an expo area here so there's as an well. expo area here. There's also sponsor social. See, should, and they're in the work division. <laughs> right. It's, uh, there's an expo area. You can see all of these sponsors there. And you should go visit them. Um, if you have any questions about any of these things, that's the place to direct them. Um, and we also have some awesome keynotes coming up. Um, we try to pick keynotes that we think will be useful and fun and interesting for Fedora contributors. Uh, we have one from Leslie Hawthorne and one from Chelsea Troy. Those are both going to be really good. Marie, do you have the titles of those handy? We should have put those in the document. Yeah, yeah. We have a negotiation theory for geeks from Leslie Hawthorne and giving and receiving feedback from Chelsea Troy. Awesome. Looking so, forward to both and, of And those. today we're about to hear from Matthew, the state of Fedora. Also, there's so, that. <laughs> I'll take over from there. Okay, so uh, as Matthew mentioned, we're using something called Work Adventure. So Work Adventure is an 8-bit virtual platform to hang out and socialize. We also have hallway tracks here in Hopin. If you can't get to that platform for some reason, this is the link. It's going to work the whole time, but there will be a portal session in Hopin where I'll have that link like pinned to the top so people can use that to get there if you misplace your link. Um, it's really cool. Our out, uh, an outreachy intern made this map. The theme is Fedora Museum, and there is for sure a badge to find and earn in there. So I also want to thank everyone who helped me organize this. Uh, obviously, Ben and Matthew. Um, but we had a ton of other people pitch in time and energy to making this happen. Uh, Natalie, Jen, and Veronica from the events team at OSPO. Also, Dorka helped me a lot. You, some of you may know her from DevConf CZ. Um, and then we had a bunch of Fedora contributors joining uh, Nick, JT, Vipple, Ashlyn, Samara, Daria, and more people pitched in the Mindshare Committee um, to make this happen. So thanks to everybody for all the hard work. And um, it's 
going to be awesome. The work is going to pay off. Um, so I just wanted to quickly highlight the social sessions. Um, we have the sponsor one that Matthew mentioned. Um, that's in Work Adventure. We have a summer coding social. So those are our current summer interns as long as we also invite our alumni to join us. Um, we have cake with the F cake. So come hang out with me, bring a dessert or some coffee or whatever, and earn a badge and just hang out and chat. Um, I'm also going to run a Pictionary session. It's been fun, a, a fan favorite here for the past year. Oh my gosh, we're doing this again, aren't we? Um, <laughs> uh, and then uh, Anorup is hosting an Among Us session. So if you're a fan of Among Us, Feel free to join that. I've actually never played, though I hear it's fun, so I'm probably going to be joining in. Um, and then last but not least for me, I'm going to talk about the swag. So you'll be receiving an email with uh, a link and a code to uh, claim your swag pack. And there are 20 plus items in this swag pack, so make sure you get it. There's everything from stickers to coasters, to pins, to surprise items, um, and plenty of things from our sponsors. So it's going to be a really fun swag pack this time around. And All right. where do we get that link? It's going to show up in your email. It'll be a hop in email. It should it should be there this morning. Actually, yeah. Ben and I are might be troubleshooting this currently, but uh, all right. So <laughs> just don't junk your hop in mail is the key takeaway here. Yes, there will be a link and a code in there for you to uh, claim your swag pack. And also because I know people are going to sign up as the event happens, we're going to send the code and the link out once again before the end of the event. So like probably on the last day, uh, because I know other you know people will be showing up then too. We just want to make sure it gets everybody. Go this ahead. is an incredible swag pack with a lot of cool stuff. You will definitely want it. Yes, there's new Fedora logo swag in there. So that's pretty exciting, including a Tumblr with the new logo. So anyway, uh, that's it for me. I'm going to hand it over to Ben. All right. Um, so we did a lot of thanking already, but of course, uh, there wouldn't be a lot for us to attend if there weren't for the speakers. So, you know, thank you to all of you. Um, as I was going through and loading all the tweets into TweetDeck, I lost count of how many different speakers and different talks we have. Um, but it's, you know, there's some great content here. Um, speaking of Twitter, uh, watch the Fedora Twitter handle to see which talks are coming up. Every talk should have a tweet going out five minutes before it starts, unless I messed up, which happens a lot. I think I caught all of them, but if you see something amiss, let me know. Uh, and of course, if you want to tweet about sessions or what's going on at the event, we're using the hashtag Nest with Fedora. Um, also, if you're a badge collector like me, this is probably the most badgeful event we've had in at least the last few years. Uh, we already have the attendee badge, which is available in the reception. I see many of you have already claimed it. Um, Marie mentioned the museum badge in Work Adventure. And also the uh, outreach revamp doc sprint and the Fedora Week of Diversity sessions have their own badges that you can claim by participating in those. So there are four different badges you can earn this week. Uh, it's good stuff. Um, and of course, uh, you've at least figured out how to log in to hop in and watch a session at this point. Um, I will point out that there are uh, polls and Q&A functions you can use. Uh, you can answer the poll questions. Some are serious, some are silly. Uh, those will be popping up sporadically throughout the next three days as somebody takes a few minutes to add them in. If you have ideas for those, that, let us know. One thing that might not be obvious right away is there are separate chats for the event as a whole. There's like a main uh, chat and then the, each session also has its own individual chat. It's at the top of the chat window. You can switch between there. So uh, be aware of where you're talking. And then uh, each session will also have a Q&A where you can um, use that to ask questions. And that's probably a better idea because people will be talking in the chat and the, the person giving the talk may not be able to scroll back far enough to catch all of them. Um, there are also session specific polls, but I don't think we generally use those too often. Um, if you have any questions about the Hopin platform, or how to use it. Uh, here's the link here in chat. If it will paste. 
where you can uh, get help. That's their knowledge base. Um, it should also be in the email that should have gone out about 40 minutes ago that we're still trying to figure out why. Um, there's also a direct messaging feature. Uh, you can invite others to video calls and set up meetings with other attendees as well. One thing I've learned is that the notifications are off by default. Um, and so if you tried to message me on a hop-in event in the past and I didn't respond for like seven hours, that's why. Um, I have my notifications turned on now and you can do that too by clicking on the little bell in the upper right next to your profile picture and toggling the notifications. Um, and that'll just let you know if somebody messages you because it's not super obvious if you're not looking for it. Um, and I think that's everything yeah, I on just my learned list. Something. Thank you, Ben, for teaching us that because I just learned that as well. It's helpful for sure. All right, cool. So that's kind of it for our housekeeping type stuff. Um, if anyone has any questions or any, oh, Ben has something. Go for it, Ben. Um, we probably forgot it because it's super obvious to us, but just a reminder that the Fedora Code of Conduct does apply to Nest with Fedora and all other Fedora spaces. And um, we expect everyone to abide by that. If you have uh, Code of Conduct issues that arise, um, you can email code of conduct at fedoraproject.org or send Matthew and Mar or Marie a message directly. Yes. Thanks, Ben. Um, Thanks for the reminder. Be, be nice, be excellent to each other is the spirit of the code of conduct. There's uh, more to it than that, but that's that's where it starts. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, notably, don't bother Ben with code of conduct stuff. He. Uh... <laughs> I'll just be like, not my problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure Ben would send you to one of us, but um, I expect a smooth couple of days. I'm really excited to hang out with everybody. And I know when Fedora friends get together, we have a great time. So I don't have a whole lot more for right now. Uh, we have about 15 ish minutes until Matthew's state of Fedora keynote right. starts. So unless Either of you want to just chat There's some, some more? There's, I, I'm up for chatting. It'll make me less nervous about my my own talk. And this one, I have like people to talk to, unlike the talking to myself um, experience of giving the keynote. So uh, let, let's chat. There's talk in the chat about badges. Um, just in general, someone says they've um, been contributing for a month and haven't gotten any badges. Marie, do you want to talk about what badges are and how they work? Right, so if you've been contributing and you log on to um, the badges website, I think you automatically earn like three or four of them. If I'm, I think at least there's one or two that you get in there. So you should have some, but Fedora badges is a gamification type of a, a system for working on Fedora, all aspects of Fedora. So we have ones that are automated manually awarded, ones for events, ones for packaging to um, documentation to design. <laughs> um, there are badges for everything. So you definitely want to log in. Uh, I see Enola dropped the link there. So you want to log into that page. And then I think you can click profile and you'll see what you have earned, right? So you can click on each badge and there's, a, I think, an explorer. You can see all of the badges and you can click on each one and see what the criteria is um, to earn that badge. Oh, some of them are cryptic. Some of them are not. Uh, if you need to, if it's a little bit cryptic, you can go even further to the Fajor ticket <laughs> and see the background behind uh, what that was all about. And uh, I'm actually started in Fedora with badges. 2013 doing an outreach internship so this is like one of my pet projects i did for a very long time badges uh workshops and hack fests and some things of this nature still keep my eye on it as best i can but things have changed <laughs> one one great way to earn badges is to go to the all-time leaderboard find yourself find the people who are a little bit ahead of you and look at all the badges they have and be like hmm, what can i do uh, ben, do I you definitely spend your time doing that? 
I'm not saying the only reason I have like the kernel tester and like the updates testing badges are because I saw that those exist and like I could do that to earn a badge. Um, but that's that's nice. how I work. Yes. So. <laughs> um, um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go I ahead. have something else important that we didn't say, which is thank you, Marie, for all the work you've put into this. And uh, thank you, Ben, for all the stuff you've done as well. But actually, especially Marie, because um, like this week I was like, oh, I've got to go run off and do some family stuff. And I just abandoned her. And then um, she put all this together and it's going to be amazing. And um, to be clear, should... I started before this week. Putting oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> but, you know, right at crunch time, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm off. Bye. So hey, uh, family stuff's very important. And, uh, you know, Fedora and work is not everything in our life. So important it to take that time. It's important as a leader that you show confidence in the team that you work with. So I do. And I have a that lot was of confidence. the ultimate vote of confidence. <laughs> I have lots of confidence in Marie and in you as well, Ben. So someone's asking what's happening with the polls. So the polls are a fun supplement to the event um, for us to kind of interact and even make changes on the fly to the conference, um, get some information on who is here. For example, we'll ask like, is this your first Fedora event? So we wanna get an idea like who's here with us. Um, you know, sometimes we talk about uh, like what languages you're speaking, what if you're, you know, using a desktop or a laptop or, you know, what kind of at word or editor you use. I know we've had some controversial <laughs> polls over that. So, um, there's lots of fun to be had there. And also it's kind of helpful for us to get an understanding of like who's in our, our crowd. Yes, Nano for the win. Um, so that's what's going on with the polls. And we see if there's any other questions here in the chat. You started editor wars. That's uh, eh, always. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Crash the badges oh. server badge. Oof. Yeah, you'll see there are no polls for this session, but there are polls over in the event, if you're wondering where no, the polls are. No, there are polls. Oh, in, right. In, There's polls right. for the session, too. Right, but this session has no polls yet. Uh, uh, we there we have an anonymous question right now. An Will Fedora ever, <laughs> ever implement a system imaging and recovery tool similar to that of Windows? I spent the last few days trying to find one. Um, Fedora as a project is probably unlikely to implement that because generally Fedora mostly does integration of upstream projects. If there is a great such project for for Linux that exists, um, bringing that into like Fedora Workstation seems like a nice thing. And I know there are some tools that do that in the distro already. Um, maybe something like the Workstation Working Group could work on bringing Polish to that and making it a default. Um, it's, a, it's a good suggestion, I think, especially as we go for more uh, general purpose users. Cool, thanks for that, Matthew. We have a, will Fedora ever partner with other OEMs besides Lenovo? Uh, yes, I am very happy to partner with other OEMs. Um, you know, my emails are open. My, my, my Twitter handle is Matt DM. Send me messages. I would love to talk to you. <laughs> um, in seriousness, um, Lenovo really was great to work with because they were very serious about uh, upstream first. They didn't want to make modifications. They wanted everything. They wanted to work with the Fedora community. They wanted to work with the project. And they were, um, unlike some other OEMs they talked to, they, uh, they, they came to us and wanted to make it work rather than coming to us and having a lot of demands for how things should be different. Um, so um, I would love to have other OEMs that are such a pleasure to work with. Um, has anyone tried the video platform? Do you mean here in Hopin? There's a test your audio video session. Right, oh, that's the work adventure video platform I think you're talking about. All when right. is the work adventure time? 
So it's all kinds of times. It's all in between the sessions. So, you know, some people want to socialize. Some people want to go get on a cup of coffee or eat food or get in her backyard for a minute. So it's open the whole time. You can go hang out in there whenever. We'll have specific times where no other sessions are happening and there will be a portal session that will bring you to that spot. So I hope that makes sense. Um, when there's no other content going on is the main time to go over there. Makes sense. Yes. All right, uh, cool. so I will try and do some more Q&A at my um, session in a little bit as well, if people have questions about the project. Um, we'll, we'll see how much time I end up actually leaving for that, but I will also be around for questions, and there's lots of people who know lots more about their specific areas in Fedora than I do to ask here. That's one of the great things about Flock slash Nest. All right, peeps, enjoy the next three days, and I will be seeing you plenty of times. <laughs> Bye. Bye.